everybody, welcome to my YouTube. I'm Jen. Today I'm going to unbox and review the brand new Cricut Hat Press. Um, Cricut isn't sponsoring this video, however they did send this hat press to me to review for you um, to give you a peek at what's inside. Um, this is a brand new release along with a couple other of their um, new heat press announcements, um, they have released this awesome heat press, um, specifically for hats. And I'm gonna show you how it works, but let's see what's inside. So, let's get it out of this box. And there you have it. That is the little preview on the back of the box. It says, make pro hats at home. A curved heat plate, universal hat form, and Bluetooth connectivity make high quality custom hats easier than ever. Picture here showing them doing it. This is a hat insert um, that I will show you all about. Um, on the side of the box, we have English, French, and Spanish um, for household use only, some warnings, um, things like that. The beautiful top of the box. Smart press for heat, for hats. <laughs> Smart heat press for hats, um, compatible with infusible ink. On the side um, includes hat press, Cricut hat pressing form, safety base, and strong heat resistant tape. If you can see that. On the other side, there is a new app that they have released with this that will walk us through using this hat press step by step. So I will show you as much of that as I can on video. Um, and let's see what it looks like when you open her up. Okay, so inside. Oh, it looks nice. Very nice presentation. Foam, um, it's a cute little, um, this is my hand, so it shows you how big it is. Uh, it's just adorable. Fits in your hand very comfortably. I'll take off this warning label. Warning open. Operate at high temperatures that can cause burns. So basically be really, really careful. Um, it gets up really hot to be able to work for infusible ink. Um, I think 400 degrees. Um, so it's very dangerous, but they brought or include the safety base um, that you can put the hot press in. Um, they included the um, tape. So this is tape. You're going to want to use a lot of this when you're doing your hat um, to make sure that it does not move. And I'll show you why. Um, so there are those pieces. And then... Sorry for the noise. You've got the instructions. We'll look at that in a second. And there is our hat form. Um, these hat forms do include walnut shells. Um, they say that you shouldn't have a problem even if you're allergic to walnuts. Um, but to, if that's a concern, definitely talk to your doctor before using anything like this. Um, so there is that and there's definitely allergy warnings so keep that in mind if you have a walnut shell allergy and move this box out of the way make a mess while I'm doing it I want to open up this plastic without damaging the hat form I'll just poke a little hole. It is pretty good weight. Um, there is a handle. The handle is not for holding it when you're pressing, but rather getting it in the hat, um, getting a nice grip on the hat. Um, so it's pretty neat shape. And it's just like this for pressing. So we'll take a look at that. Let's see what's in the little guide um, before we go any further. So, 
let's get started. Ah, oh, there's a little star we can put on one of the hats. Let's get started. To activate and set up your press, download Cricut Heat app on your mobile device. It has, if you need help, go to their website. Um, that is the big thing. I hear people say a lot of times they get the machines um, and there's no help guide, but there is. It's just online. So definitely check that out if you're not familiar with it. We have a lot of good information on there. This shows you the little hat press. English instructions, get to know your hat press. Um, they've got, let's see if I can show you. The handle is number one. Number two is the go button. Number three is the power temperature button. Number four is indicator lights, um, right here. Then the curved heat plate, um, not plugged in so I can touch it. It's a very hot during use, so don't do this when it's plugged in. The safety base, um, which is totally safe to keep it in when it's on, when it's hot. The hat press form. Um, then it shows you what the lights look like when they're heating up. Always handle with care. How to operate. Plug in. Press the power button um, to turn on. Cycle to desired heat. Press temperature button. Um, go. So that is that, but there is an app, and it doesn't at any time tell you to open the app, but open the app. Um, it comes with a star for pressing, if you would like to do that. Um, I might do that, I'll just do a practice hat. This is one of the Cricut brand um, hat blanks, as well as this one. Um, so they do have two options. Absolutely, you can use other ones as well. These have just been tested um, and work well. When you're using vinyl, you can put it on the bill. Um, but when you're using infusible ink or sublimation, they suggest not putting it on the bill because the heat, amount of heat that is required um, for sublimation is just a little bit too high um, and it may warp the bill. So keep that in mind as you're doing that. Sorry for the noise. And we'll go ahead and just do a cute little star on this hat um, today, just so that you can see it. And then we'll do some projects um, in the future for us. Um, next, we're gonna do the app. So let me pull up my app real quick. You do go to whatever your app store is and it's called Cricut Heat. I'm not gonna show my desktop, um, but I will show it as soon as I get the app open. So this is the Cricut Heat. Um, I have already signed in, and it says, let's get set up. Cricut Heat will connect to your products and activate it. Um, so we're gonna set up, and I need to wait. I need to plug this thing in first. Okay. To turn it on the first time, you push the temperature button, and then it's going to flash, and then you pull up your phone, and it's going to connect to your heat press, so the flashing means it's connecting, and then you just hit connect, and then it will register it, it's registered to me, I agree, and now it's beeped that it's ready. So after you register it the first time, you don't have to use the app if you don't want to, um, but the very first time, make sure that you have your cell phone with you. Um, it only works on cell phones. It does not work on computers. Um, so make sure you have your cell phone with you so that you can register it and get it all working properly. Um, once it's registered, it will show you what it's doing. So the orange means that it's warming up. Um, and it says the hat press is now heating up. When not in use, always power done, down and unplug your press hitting done. Um, so here's the hat press. I'm going to start a new project. Pick the material that I'm using. So this is just everyday iron-on. Um, the hat I'm using, I'm assuming it's polyester since it says it's good with, yeah, it's 80% polyester, 20% cotton. So it's a cotton poly blend. Um, so that's that. Oh, I'm going to use this other one. Um, so now while that's heating up, let's put 
this over here. So let's put a plug. Okay, it is fully heated. But I'm gonna show you how to put your hat on. So you obviously take out the little insert, pull down on this little sweatband so that stays out of the way. You unhook it, if it's a hook one, and you put it on your little dude here. So my little dude is gonna get his hat put on. Just like that, oops. And then you tighten it in the back because you don't want any, um, you want it to be tight. You don't want it to be loose. You want it to be sturdy while you're doing this. Okay, there's only one size hat form, um, but I have heard that the little heads can get their hats on here as well. So the band is out here. This is my handle and this is my hat. And you have a perfect view from up there. Um, so next we're gonna pull up the app. Um, so you're telling it that you're using everyday iron-on um, and then a cotton poly blend. Next, so it tells you how to do it. This tutorial covers each step of the process so you know exactly what to expect. Then you hit next. So recommended setting is 330. Um, mine is on the lo lowest, so I'm gonna push the button again the temperature button in the middle. See it lit, lit, lit up, <laughs> lighted up. It lit up the second light and the orange means it's heating. So, so once that turns green, that means that um, the medium 330 is ready for my iron on. So, send settings to hat press. Um, so now it says to preheat the blank. So you, for five seconds, you apply a light pressure to the blank. So with the hat press, the pressure um, is just a nice light, like if you were ironing it. And this time you do go back and forth and try not to touch the bill, at least when you have it in super high heat, don't touch the bill. So you just go back and forth for five seconds. And it even has a little timer. So it tells you how to do it. So you press, position heat press, then press this button for a timer. Okay, now that went off because it's preheated. So now you're gonna put on your item. You're gonna tape it down and don't worry about getting the tape anywhere else on your design, you can put it right on top of your design and it's perfectly fine. It is heat resistant tape. You also want to make sure that it's very um, secure because you are going to be going back and forth with the tape or with the heat press. So I'm just going to put a little star over here because I'm going to use this hat to also do some other tutorials for you. Maybe it's some sublimation, not sublimation. Um, I have some infusible ink for us to try. So we'll do that as well. Um, so since this is vinyl, it is okay that it's touching the bill, but make sure you remember with an infusible ink not to touch the bill because the heat may mess that up. That looks pretty secure. So I'm gonna smooth it out so there's no air bubbles. And then it says next, I just um, apply a light pressure. So I'm gonna push this button and I'm gonna move it back and forth. You can tell you I'm not getting that bottom part. So that may be an issue, but you just move it back and forth. Try to get it up against that bill, because that was my mistake. Don't get it up on top of the bill, or you're not gonna be able to adhere it. And all along the timer is going. 
for you. Of course, my screen shut off right when I did that. So remember, light pressure, hold on to the bill while you're doing it. I'm gonna have to redo that bottom piece, but that's okay. And you also want to avoid the plastic when you're using the higher heat of this hat. You don't have that on the other hat. So now it's done. I can put this on here and it says to slowly remove liner when cool. So don't try to do it when it's not cool. And I actually did get that down there, so that will be okay. So let's wait for that to cool real quick. To say allow 24 hours after washing, um, after application, ugh, 24 hours after application before washing, um, hand wash in cold water, do not bleach, line dry, do not dry clean. So um, it's pretty good. And then there are troubleshooting tips if you happen to have any problems. Um, all of that is here as well. So let's see how our star is doing. So first I'm going to take off the tape. And do not be stingy with the tape. Again, you want to make sure that your design does not move at all, especially when you're using the infusible ink or sublimation, because uh, you could get shadowing. And then for this, I'm going to remove And that looks beautiful. There you go. That's the first hat. Um, I will definitely figure out some kind of design to put here with the infusible ink um, on Design Space. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I found this little guy in Design Space. I'm going to put him right in the middle. Um, and I was looking at this, let's do it, this one. This is the infusible ink. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is move this out of the way and get the Cricut to Joy. And get her plugged in. This is now turned off while I do this. Only well, because it didn't take very long to heat up, so I didn't wanna risk any burns. Um, so plug in my Cricut Joy, move that out of the way. And because I'm using infusible ink, I will need a mat. Okay, so let's take out our Cricut infusible ink. I've never used this infusible ink before, so we will learn together. One roll. Keep that close by. Let's pick. So uh, this one's gorgeous. And we'll look at that. And then it comes with some parchment paper. I'm gonna go with this piece right here. Okay, and we're gonna cut out a small piece. And then we're going to click on make it and do on mat. It's going to put put it right here. Oops, sit down. It's going to put it right here. 
put it right here. So that's pretty colored for us. Hit continue. It's connecting the joy. Connect. Um, you tell what you're using. So this is infusible ink. And if it's not there, go to all material. Search for infusible ink. You can favorite it while you're there. Fine point blade. Loaded. Just making sure the length works for the material I want. Tap to go. Shows you how it's cutting. Unload. Cute little guy there. So now we're going to weed him. Remember when weeding, you take out the parts that you don't want. Very cute. I lost a little piece there. I'm going to add back. this little guy. Figure out where you want him. Put him in the middle. Put him off to the other side. Maybe I can do that and then I'll put like I Love Cricket or something here in the middle of future dates. So, same time, same thing as last time. Lots and lots of tape. Not easy to rip. they come out with some kind of dispenser for this. And make sure it's on there as smooth as possible. I got a little wrinkle under mine. And this is infusible ink, so you want to make sure that you're far enough away from the bill that you're not going to heat up the bill. Okay, that 
should be plenty of tape. Let's see if this works. So, we're going to get out our heat app. We're going to tell it to start a new project. And you're going to select the material um, as infusible. Infusible ink, transfer sheet. Uh, pick which hat you're using. Hit next. There's a quick little tutorial. And you can hit next. Cricket. Um, so now it's going to recommend high heat. So we're going to turn on. And then we're going to send the settings to the hat press. It's going to update it and start heating. It tells you how long it's going to take till it's heated. I am actually, I messed up. I'm supposed to preheat the blank and to remove any debris. So, let's back up a step and let's do what they're recommending. Because I've never done this before, but I did remember, did remember that I forgot these. Let's put it that way. I've seen these um, infusible ink being worked on in YouTube before. So I'm going to take this sucker off and we're going to remove anything on the hat. We're going to remove this tape in case there's anything stuck to the tape. And now that that is done, we're going to preheat the hat. I'll try to stay off the vinyl so I don't burn it. Okay, and now we're going to put our guy back on. So, do what the app says, don't do what I say. And we're going to get out that tape again. You will definitely need more tape because you want to make sure this absolutely will not move while you're moving it around. My little thing is out of the position. says do not worry about putting your tape on top of the vinyl or the infusible ink, it will be just fine. Okay, here we go. Next step I think is to use this paper. I think we might want to, so it says your thing, tape, your paper, and do that. So, I'm going to actually tape down the paper. It doesn't say that step in here, so that is purely optional. But since it's my first one, that's what I'm gonna do. There is some bumps, but they're way out of the way of the little guy. So, that's done. And I'm going to push it and apply a light pressure back and forth and the timer is going. So you hold on to the bill of the hat. You can move it around so it's in a good position for you. And 
And while I'm doing this, I am pushing down slightly, just like I would if it was an iron. Or the Easy Press Mini, they say this is the same. Don't have one of those, but. Same concept. 30 seconds to go. I am trying to stay off of my vinyl that I did earlier because I don't want to burn that, but I'm also trying to stay away from the bill. I don't want to burn that either. And hopefully there's no shadowing, ghosting. My paper's moving a little bit, but that's okay. As long as it's secure, the little guy's secure underneath. And it's done. And the app says to remove the butcher paper, remove tape, and design while warm. So, keep, keep. Remember, this gets hot, so be careful of that. Not too hot, but just something to be careful of. And it does look like I might have shadowed it and messed it up a little bit. That's okay. He is still adorable as ever. Look at him. Look at that. So some of the color didn't stick, but this was a multicolored item anyway. So look at that. How cute is that? So I love it. Um, I'll probably put I Love Cricut right in the middle. Um, they can maybe vinyl so it can just go right on top of whatever it needs to cover. Um, but there you have it. That is the uh, Cricut Heat Press, newly released Hat Press, Cricut Heat Hat Press and Heat App. Um, let me know what you think in the comment box below. As always, thanks for watching.